Hey everyone, welcome back to part four of Mistral AI agent exercise. So we got a really interesting sequence for you guys. Previously, we talked about how to create this agent. Uh, essentially, we are handcrafting this local agent solution using Mistral AI API call. So let's have a quick recap. First things first, we go into Mistral AI console with design this coding agent, get that deployed so that we can have developer access. And then second, we essentially deploy an app uh, with this user interface design using Streamlit application. And this is currently hosted on, as you can see here, it's hugging face. So this gives us the ability to converse with a chatbot and a chatbot is backed up by Mistral AI agent and it's able to give us Python code. But this is just to talk with it, right? It doesn't really have any execution. So on top of that, we want to have execution. So previous episodes, we talked about this while loop. And essentially, we can have a human talk to it, make some API calls, give us some response. And then we physically go into response. We're like, hey, is Python code in here? If there is Python code in there, uh, what name do you want to save? And user can enter a name that they can save. This function here is a helper function that will actually physically save the Python code for us in a .py script. And then on top of that, we can even execute it. So we have a helper function here to execute it when user agreed upon that action. And then whatever output is, let's print that out. So that's how the system is designed together. As you can see here, uh, we are making a bunch of API calls here with two calling that's locally designed from scratch. So with that being said, let's just talk to it, right? This video is going to be some playground mode. Let's ask a couple of fancy questions to see if this can execute for us. So let's run the code. And we'll say human, right? Let's type in some questions in there. I want to simulate the value of pi, write a Python code to do this for me. So since we ask for a Python code, and since the chatbot is essentially backed by Mistral AI agent, that is a code agent. So it's specifically designed to write a code. So hopefully we have some sort of Python code in here. And as you can see here, boom, uh, let's examine this output just a little bit. Uh, here, the boss says, sure, uh, here's a Python program. And then there's a dot, dot, dot Python. Uh, so we do know that uh, there's some Python code in here. That's the function. And then I'm not going to examine this because I want to physically run it, right? If there's an error, then we know that this is wrong. Uh, but if this actually executes correctly, then we get this print thing. So let's see if that works. Let's see what's next. Okay, what name do you want to save? Uh, let's say simulation of pi. Let's say enter. And then it's going to ask me, hey, do you actually want to execute it? I say yes. So let's see what's happening next. Boom, there you go. We say bot output. And the estimate value of pi with a million data point is 3.141556. So this is pretty close. Now, of course, I'm showing you from this output here. Uh, is there actually a Python script being executed? Let's take a look at the left-hand side. So let's refresh. Boom, there you go. Here's a simulation of pi, dot pi. So I'm going to click in that. And as you can see here, this is the Python function. And this is the code to actually execute the Python function. Now, of course, this is just a script, right? How do we know that uh, this is being executed? Uh, well, we can see here that it did print it out. But to make sure that this is exactly correct, let's open terminal window. And then let's say Python simulation of pi. So let's run that physically. And as you can see here, that's the same output as what we have here. Now, of course, this number is going to be slightly different. And the reason that's different is because in the Python script, we have a little bit of randomness, right? We have a little bit of randomness because that is the random package. And these data points are randomly generated. So 
let's try this again. Let's go to our terminal window. Let's rerun this Python script. And as you can see here, give you a slightly different number. So with that being said, you can kind of see that this is how things are wired together, right? We didn't actually have to do anything. The bot, the agent did everything for us. From the beginning, we didn't know how to simulate the value of pi. Literally, we just asked a question. The agent here designed this experiment for us, write the code for us, save the code in here in this Python script. It asked us whether we want to execute it. And once we say yes, it actually executed for us. So hopefully this demonstrates a point of how powerful agent can be and how easy it is to design a simple Jarvis here that is to execute some ideas for us, run some experiment for us. And if you want to quit it, obviously you can say exit. And I will finish running this cell. So there you go. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully this video sheds some light of how do you handcraft a local AI agent to run simulation for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.